Hello, my darlings, and good afternoon. First of all, I just want to take a moment to appreciate my teeth. They are so straight already, like that. No spaces. I'm so excited to get them whitened. Y'all know we have the BGC red carpet on Sunday. So I'm preparing myself for that. I have a hair appointment Friday. So I have to say goodbye to the curls for now. The easy wake up and go hair. But um, we are going on vacation next month. Well, not even next month, in a couple weeks. And I'm not ready. So the curls will be back by then because I don't like to do my hair ever. And especially not on vacation. Well, I don't know. I might keep straight hair. But I don't know. I'll think about it about it. But um, today we woke up this morning. I made breakfast. We had waffles, strawberries, and I added some cheese to six breakfast. Just regular cheese because he's not eating like normal, like he would normally normally wake up. Eat eggs, bacon, pancakes. No, he doesn't want eggs anymore. He doesn't want bacon, sausage, nothing. He doesn't want to eat anything but cheese. So I always just add cheese to all his meals now just so he's consuming something. But he did eat the strawberries and the cheese. Um, nothing else. I ate all of my food, of course. And now we're having noodles. I was a little stuffy when I woke up. So I made my noodles super spicy. And now my nose is running on top of my makeup, which is not good because I know I'm going to have some like mess there. Um... I'm going to start vlogging when I wake, woke up, but I was just so tired, and I was like, you know what, I'm not doing anything for a couple hours. I had a wax appointment earlier, but I moved it to tomorrow because tomorrow I'm doing like nails and eyebrows, and I like to do all that kind of stuff in one day, so it's just like over, teeth whitening, all that kind of stuff. Um, six is here. Let me turn this around. I'll just do it like that. Six is there, he's eating his noodles too. Ignore my shower cap that Six was throwing around the room. He doesn't know how to leave my stuff alone. But he's not really eating his noodles because he's too distracted by The Land Before Time, one of my favorite childhood movies. He likes all of my childhood movies. Lion King is his addiction, y'all. He watches it like five times a day, including the live action one. I don't know what his obsession is with the live action one, but he prefers to watch that one. So Lion King birthday party it is. And it's gonna be so cute because he's a Leo, so it's perfect. Um, but we're getting ready to go do some shopping. Um, yeah, baby daddy loves to keep me in the latest. So he sent some money unexpectedly and was like, you need to go get some bags and shoes for the red carpet, which I was going to do anyway, which I know is just way more fun to spend other people's money. And then after that, I have... So after shopping, um, I'm probably going to come home because I have like a break between there. Come home and do my P.O. box because I do have a lot more stuff now. And then, guys, I have an appointment with my surgeon today. So fingers crossed that he does not tell me that I didn't gain enough weight because I'm going to be really sad. Y'all know I have just wanted hips for the longest like i literally have told every surgeon i don't care if you don't have enough to do my entire butt i really like the shape of my butt i think it's really nice and with working out it gets even better just feel my hip dips they drive me nuts they're so deep it makes it look like i have no shape until i turn around and you kind of like okay she does have a little caboose back there but um i'm just tired of it and i don't want to do shots like all of my friends are like i have the shot plug why don't you just do the ass shots no i just i i can't it just will never be that serious to me to put my future in jeopardy or even my net my present like some people go smoothly for it, that's great but it'll be just my damn luck y'all know shit just be happening to me i'm accident prone so I really, really don't want to do shots. I really, really recommend you guys never, ever, ever to do shots. You know, it just is never a good thing. And I think a lot of people who have had them will tell you that. And I don't think they look very natural either. So I'd rather just try to do it the right way. So fingers crossed today, y'all. Today is the day that my doctor is like, let's do your work. 
Dr. Zach actually was, um, wanted to do my appointment Monday. But I just thought it was a little weird that he didn't see me in person and like actually decide, okay, you, he never saw me in person. He only did phone consultation and he didn't ask to see me over the phone consultation. He just said how much she weighed, gained some weight. So I thought it, it just made me a little uncomfortable that he just wanted me to come in on a Monday for a surgery, first time seeing me in person. So you're basically doing a blind surgery. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to a different doctor. And yeah, that's where we are. So my consultation is today. Hopefully he does not make me cry because I'm literally gonna get back on this video and cry out because it's so frustrating. I look like a little girl and I'm a grown woman, but it's just cause I don't have any hips. So I'll be back. It's time for us to go ahead and head over. We have a Chrome Hearts appointment today. And yeah, then some extra shopping. I need a pair of summer sunglasses. Oh, you guys really like cute. these? These are really cute, right? Yeah. I like these, and the black ones are really popular, and yeah. I was coming I to look at those. Like like oh, that the khaki's pretty, too. Yes. Let me try the khaki. Do we like the black. These are really, really cute. All right, guys, so I already went to Chrome Hearts. I was just in Celine. This is like one of the shopping centers in Miami. It's super cute, especially that way. I haven't gone that way yet. But um, yeah, it's like an outdoor shopping center that you can just walk around and get stuff. So now I'm going to Rick Owens because that's one of my favorite places. It's so me and grunge how I am. But yeah, this little one is headed to sleep. Yeah, y'all, my pants came in worse than when I left, when I bought them in. Yeah. I even called and got the receipt for them just to expedite the process. Yeah. I him my icy because it's so hot and it's so cute because it comes with a drip, drip tray so he doesn't make a mess. So that's perfect for little mommies and babies like you. Come on. This is the middle area. It's a little play area. They have jungle gyms for the kids and swings. That six got knocked off by a kid with because he was running up on it one day. So it sucks to be him sometimes. All right, guys, so I went to Rick Owens. They don't have anything new besides the last few things that I got. Um, I took videos for baby daddy to see if he wanted stuff because his birthday trip is right around the corner. Um, I went to Bottega because I needed some shoes to go with my outfit for the red carpet on Sunday but they did not have my size. But they do have my size at Fall Harbor. That's like the main shopping center out here, I think. I don't know, but that's the one I hear about the most. This one is just convenient because it's a walk from my house. We walk here all the time, whether we're getting lunch or just down there shopping. So I figured I'd walk, but they put them on hold, the size that I needed and the style that I wanted on hold for me at Ball Harbor. So I'll probably go tomorrow because like I said, I have to meet with my surgeon later and Ball Harbor is just kind of far. So yeah, I'm gonna go home, get freshened up, um, film my PO box stuff and get six down for a nap so I can get ready to go meet with my surgeon. All right guys, so when I got back, I put six in the shower and I um, jumped in the shower myself just to wash that heat off because it is like a million degrees outside. Um, I was gonna do my PO, um, what's in my PO box today, but I think I'm gonna save it because I have four more packages in there. So I think I should check it first. Um, if it's open when I leave out to go meet with my surgeon, then I'll um, check it and maybe come back and do it but I want to do it all at one time. So, you know, it's a good amount of video. So instead of doing that, while I wait to go to my surgeon, I'm going to try to get six to go to sleep first because if he sees me leave, he's going to freak out. I'm going to give him some more lunch because he already had lunch today, but can't eat one more time. So he sleeps good. 
I'm gonna try on the two things that I did get today. Um, like I said, Bottega didn't have my shoes there, so I have to go to a different mall, but it's just too far to go to now. And yeah, so let's try this stuff on this cute bathing suit. Y'all got the cutest bathing suit, and I'm gonna be mad if somebody wears it first because all I gotta do is make it to January, June, go on vacation, wear it, look cute, boom. Because I bought the other one and I have it. I've never posted it. I bought it from Vegas and then I got sick and never wore it. And by the time I wore it, everybody had wore it. So it's kind of like, okay, fun's over. But I'm still going to wear that one too. But this one's going to be like a cute picture one. So let me change and show you what it looks like. Hey guys, here is the bathing suit. It's so cute. Get a close up so you can see Brooke and Sixer in the background. But that's it. This is the back. Oh, my butt looking kind of big in these. What you think? <laughs> I'm asking you, Brigade. Uh -oh. Does my butt look big? Yeah. Um, here's the details. It just has like a little chrome heart symbol on it. So it's basically, ignore my camera, six is bad. Um, it's basically just like the other one, just pink and with the white plain detailing. <laughs> And the, the cut here is a little bit different, so that's cute. And then my butt looks big, ooh, yeah. And then besides this, I got this t-shirt, so it's just plain white chrome heart top. I thought this would just be cute, like, when I'm going out and I'm not, like, getting dressed up, maybe with some black jeans or some black leather pants or even a black leather skirt or just whatever I want to wear it with. So. so that's it. I'm about to lay down until I have to leave out and go see my surgeon. So wish me luck, y'all, that this man does not tell me that I did not gain enough weight. All right, guys. So this is it. I'm on the way to my surgeon. I'm really excited. And I'm also really nervous just because like, uh, yeah, I'm tired. Honestly, I was not on my protein shake like I should have been because um, when I thought I was going to Dr. Zach, they told me that I should just like cut back on the protein um, for now. And I don't know. I'm just tired of not having any hips. I'm so tired of my hip dips. I hate them. Like, ignore my nail. Nail salon tomorrow. Um... I just really don't like my hip dips. Like, if I could pick one thing I really don't like, it's my hip dips. It's not even the fact that I'm skinny because I don't really care that I'm skinny. I think skinny can be beautiful, skinny too. I think when I was like 150 and 160, it was actually bad. Like, my face was so huge and swollen. But um, I just don't like to look straight up and down. I want to look curvy. So, fingers crossed. We're on the way. I'm running like five minutes behind, but that's okay because I'll make up for it the way I speak. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you guys a surgeon if I actually decide to go with the surgeon. Um, what I like mostly about the surgeon, right, what kind of, like, sold me because um, I heard about him through a friend. And um, I like that there's not a lot of, like, before and afters on his Instagram. So you kind of go to his Instagram, and I typically think that you wouldn't even look, I wouldn't look twice at him as a surgeon just by looking at the instagram what got me is that i went to the um his website and um their before and afters are very organized they're by doctors they're by procedure like bbl tummy tuck like everything is very organized and the before and afters are in visit you know doctor photos before and afters not um oh i did this girl's work and here's her after that she posted on instagram that is like a big no no big red flag for me because we you know angles and then some of some girls alter their photos i personally do not change my body in my photos i do smooth out my skin a little bit because like today i have like planets like that and sometimes I just leave them. Like some of my pictures, you can obviously see my pimples, but I don't alter my body in my photos because I just feel like, you know, I have to look like this. This is what I'm gonna look like in person. So nobody's gonna be like, oh, she looks thick on Instagram. 
no, I'm just skinny in real life. But um, so what I do do is I have really good angles. Or I know my angles. I shoot kind of close and kind of low. And then that makes me appear slightly thicker. So yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna have this conversation when I finish dropping. <laughs> I just want to say this place is nice. I didn't record it in the waiting room because there were so many people in there. It's packed. There's like 15 people in the waiting room. Um, but it's so beautiful. Like this the three room that I'm waiting in. I have my gown on. Ready for the doctor to come talk to me. Somebody was looking at boobies. I actually want to get my boobs. We got to go a little bit because remember I didn't get to go the size that I wanted to. Because I want it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Doctor should be coming in a minute now. Fingers crossed. I just left the surgeon's office. I talked with the doctor. He looked at me. And um, I'm like happy and also not happy at the same time. He basically looked at me and was like, I don't know where I could possibly get fat out of you. There's nothing in your abdomen. There's nothing in your back. He's like, so I'll take the little bit in your ab abdomen. I'll take the little bit out of your sides. He's like, there's honestly no point in touching your back. Um, he's like, your thighs are going to have to be the main source of your liposuction because he's like I need at least 400 to 500 units to fill in your hip dips because they're so deep can't touch your butt at all with the amount of fat that you have so as long as you're okay with just having your hips filled then that's perfect um he's like your arms and your thighs he's like your thighs are going to be significantly smaller when you get up but because you're not touching your butt it's not going to have like that um, out unproportion look because it's you're just trying to like smooth your sides out um so my surgery is quite expensive because i need 12 areas of lipo so and basically liposuction is like the most important part of more most expensive part of a surgery so my surgery is going to be like 7900 and the person that I knew that went there didn't pay nowhere near that amount, but they probably only need a liposuction of the stomach and the back. No, not me. Um, but the price is just not even a problem. Baby daddy owes me for messing up my body. <laughs> um, the problem is, is that he doesn't have anything until July. And then when I complained about that, he was like, you know what? I might open up a Saturday for you just because and then I was like, okay. And you said I'll be okay in a week. And he's like, yeah, you'll be good in a week. It's not a BBL. It's just a hip, uh, hip tip removal. And then I was like, okay, because I have vacation the first week of June. And he was like, no. See, the fact that the laser, the lipo, and the laser will cause bad hyperpigmentation in the sun. Not your scars, but like literally underneath the skin, you could get discoloration and you will never forgive yourself for the way your skin is going to look if you go in the sun after laser lipo. So if I want to have a body and not be straight up and down, I have to wait till July. I don't want to wait till July. I'm tired of waiting. Like it's summertime. I'm trying to look my best. Taliban is like, uh, that's right before your birthday, you'll be all right. What if I lose weight? What if I just want to do it now? Well, I wanted to have it done before his birthday, before that birthday vacation. Like, I'm tired of this. I wanted it done a year ago around this time when I gave this stupid ass place in LA 6K for sculpture and it did not work. Don't do sculpture, y'all. Save y'all money unless you already have a big butt and no, it didn't do anything. So now I'm mad because I have to wait some more. Keep gaining weight and looking fat and not getting my... <laughs> Y'all, I'm just tired of looking like straight up and down. It's so frustrating. And I will really start crying right now because I get angry. Like, this is so frustrating. Like, why can't y'all just do my fucking surgery? I don't even understand like you know what I should have went where I was gonna go when they were gonna do me on Monday then I would have been ready for vacation I would have been cool I 
just have some things to think about, y'all. So let me go cry in peace. Peace. <laughs>